answer to the question of the day. Again, the question of the day is the spiral spring of a spring balance is 25.0 centimeters long when 5 newton hangs on it and 30.0 cm when the weight is 10 newton what is the length of the spring if the weight is 3 newton assuming Hooke's law is obeyed option A 15.0 cm B 17.0 cm C 20.0 cm D 23.0 cm The solution is as follows Weight of spring is 3 newton when 5 newton load hangs on it load 5 newton therefore the applied force will give you the natural length I'm sorry the natural weight plus the load added to it so the applied force F1 will give us 3 plus 5 Newton, which is 8 Newton. And the, the total length or the new length after it was loaded is 5 Newton. So new length or the extended length is the natural length plus the extension. And we are told that this new length is 25 Natural length plus extension E1 The extension E1 is 25 minus L Again, when a load of 10 Newton is added to the spring When load of 10 Newton is added The applied force F2 will give us the natural length of the spring plus the load on it, which I will call W2. So our F2 will give us 3 plus 10. This one will give us a total applied force of 13 Newton. This resulted to an extended length or new length of 30 cm. New length. Ln is natural length plus extension 2. 30 will give us L plus E2. E2 will give us 30 minus L. Applying Hooke's law equation, Hooke's law equation. We have F1 over E1 is equal to F2 over E2. F1 is 8. E1 is 25 minus L. F2 13. E2 is given me 30 minus the natural length. Cross multiplying. So I have 13 into 25 minus L is equal to 8 multiplying 30 minus L. This will give us 325 minus 13 L is equal to 240 minus 8 L. Collecting like terms together, I have 325 minus 240 will give me 13L minus 8L 85 is equal to 5L the natural length 
of the spring is 85 divided by 5 and that's 17.0 centimeters by this solution option B is correct